part in the night where we talk about the personal notes we've gotten back from the network execs <laughs> and what they hate about us and the show and what we need to change. But since we have a representative from the network here, Chad, is there any first-hand comments you want to say about what we can do better about the show? Uh, yeah, sure, ladies. Um, I th actually, you know, you know I, I feel like a real jerk, and I just want to say, you know, in the spirit of the holidays, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. I thought the show went really good, even though it went a little bit over time. <laughs> oh. I, don't, I don't know if that's going to be a problem, but I just want to thank you. Wow. Um, you know, you really put me in the holiday spirit. Wow, I can't believe we turned Chad. I, you know, I was, I was going to say Scrooge McDuck, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Chad always said, like, says very like the things. worst ones, like the worst notes, yeah. like the ones that don't make sense, and the ones that are just like about your butt. The whole yeah, time. yeah. One time you told us like your boobs are great, but why don't you lower them, shape them into balls, and be a man? And you're like, that's a note for to take for our show. Yeah. So, so I can't believe this. This is coming from Chad. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do have a couple of notes. Um, uh, yeah, if you don't want to, if you maybe not mention uh, or talk into super detail about period underwear or underwear made of pubes, okay. I mean, you said at the top of the show you want to avoid those P words, right? Does that make you uncomfortable, Chad? Um, are, are you like the MTA and not going to let us put those subway ads up? Yeah. For Think or whatever it was. I didn't look yeah, it's it. Think. It's Think. Yeah, I just, I don't know how the underwear works, so like, when I imagine it, it's like a plumbing system of my worst nightmare. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. Is there a bad, like, I don't know where it goes, I don't know anything about it, it really does frighten me. Well, Chad, that's a shame, you know, you should go to the library and take out that American Girl um, book that shows an animated girl with little pub pubes drawn on, and that was mm -hmm. first, that was the second pubes I'd ever seen. <laughs> And, and then just, you know, educate yourself on it, on a, the female body. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Another thing, another thing also, I just, this is like a fun fact, it's not really a note, but uh, I was actually the fir very first case, like when swine flu jumped to human beings, I was, the, I was that guy. Oh, you're a patient zero. <laughs> yeah. Zero. And they don't even think it came from a pig, so it's kind of a still a mystery. Wow. <laughs> wow. Not at all surprising. No. No. Thank you, Chad. But still incredibly disturbing. Yes. Um, thank you, Chad. Thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. But this, despite the disgusting thing you just said, uh, we did get word from your boss at the network uh, that we're picked up for a tent pilot. Woo! Uh, Woo! December 10th at this place at 7.30. <laughs> and those are the details that I've memorized. Well done. Yes. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.